Welcome to part 1 of the video about the OPSI Nagios connector. In this part 1 uh, we will talk about the first two targets of the OPSI Nagios connector. Um, these are the possibility to monitor your OPSI server itself and uh, first of all to monitor the software rollouts which are done by uh, your OPSI server to see uh, if all your clients get the newest updates or if there are some problems. The third target the integrating of the clients in the monitoring is a uh, focus of the part 2 of this video. So let's have a deeper look at the first both points um, and these are the server checks to gather information from your server uh, about uh, if your OPSI web service is running um, and uh, other server relevant data and uh, indirect checks which gives you information about your OPSI clients but these information are not gathered direct on the clients, but they are gathered using the OPSI database um, from the server, so these are indirect checks. Um, <coughs> because they are using the OPSI database, you have the possibility to just uh, configure that these checks are not done against uh, hard-coded um, client or OPSI product. Um, you can configure at your Nagios server uh, the use of OPSI client groups and product groups which give you the possibility to change your monitoring configuration without changing your Nagios configuration just by adding or removing members uh, of these client groups or product groups uh, with the management interface on your OPSI server. <coughs> this is done by using one check plugin for OPSI at your Nagio server, which is able to communicate with your OPSI web service, and the OPSI web service is enhanced to make all these checks directly on the OPSI server um, or against the OPSI database and gives the information. Uh, using the OPSI web service back to the Nagios server. So, let's have a look at some examples. The server checks give us, us the possibility to check the OPSI web server itself. We have the possibility to check um, the disk resources which are used by OPSI and we have the possibility to check the synchronization state of OPSI products against an OPSI depot server. So, if we looking at our uh, Nagios interface, we will see here uh, a host group OPSI server and I have here my configuration server and if I look over here 
I see at first a bundle of checks which have nothing to do with the Opsinagios connector, but there are just simple standard server checks which are done by this um, Nagios server. The next two checks are classical OPSI server checks. Here I see my availability of my OPSI web service and I have the possibility to see more um, detailed information about the performance of my web service. <coughs> where it is. Over here it comes. So I see um, the number of sessions, requests, uh, which is done by my clients uh, to my Opsi web service, uh, which help me to analyze problems. So these are uh, typical server checks and um, the NECT checks are uh, going around monitoring software rollout and so we have just to see here what are the base rules. The base rules are I will get an OK if for the monitored software um, no failed is reported and if there is no difference between the installed version on the client and the version uh, which are provided from the server. You will get a warning if there is still an action request set which means that a um, software deployment isn't finished yet uh, or if you have a different version at the client and at the server. You will get a critical if any installation failed, uh, reported a fail, um, so that you have to look why this software could not deploy it to this client. <coughs> You may check clients um, uh, looking for all products which are provided by your OPSI server, but you have also the possibility to make your checks more focused on products. Um, and here you have different possibilities. You may check all clients, again one product, you may also use OPSI groups, um, OPSI client groups, as well as OPSI product groups. So let's have a look at my management interface. I have here a group. This is my monitoring group. This group has at the moment only one client. Um, and I have a, a monitoring group and uh, <coughs> this have uh, just a bundle of different uh, OPSI products and if I look at my uh, monitoring interface I see here a green um, as I have seen in my management interface, for this one client I have at the moment no product, no setup um, and no failed. But I'm able to change this right now and uh, just switch my Firefox to setup. So I uh, just have to uh, reschedule my check and I see uh, the check switched to warning because now 
I have um, <coughs> one product still on setup. I can switch the spec and my check should be switched back to green. Now I use the possibility to just add another client to my monitoring group. Now I have two clients in my monitoring group and if I look back to my um, management to my Nagios interface and just reschedule my check. I see here it switched back to warning again because my second client which I have added to the group um, have here some problems and now I can go to um, <coughs> further information and I see I have uh <coughs> for a bundle of products um, version differentials between my client and my server so I have to make here uh, some updates before I can go back to an OK state. So, if you could see, the Opsinagios connector gives you the possibility to monitor your software rollout uh, results with standard tools like Nagios. Um, this will lead you to an enhanced integration of OPSI in your complete IT service management and this way may be also used in addition with an OPSI OTRS uh, connector. Um, <coughs> at least the OPSI Nagios connector gives you a very simple possibility to integrate your Windows clients in your monitoring but this point um, I will talk about in the second part of this video. Thank you and goodbye.